subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. And time signs, as it was in the days of Noah and Lot. In Matthew 24 and Luke 17, Jesus gave us a clear warning, an indication of what this world would be like near the time of his second coming. Looking forward to the time just before his return, Christ saw the scene of this world, and it was a mirror of what it was like back in both Noah's and Lot's day. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. So, what we need to find out now, is what was it like back in the days of Noah and Lot. In Noah's day, Genesis, chapter 6, verse 5, 11 and 12. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and, behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. In Lot's day, Jude chapter 1, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. As we can see, the world in Noah's day was full of wickedness with the thoughts of men continually evil. The earth was corrupt, and filled with violence. Love had surely waxed cold in Noah's day. Also, we can see from Jude that in Lot's day, sexual immorality, and homosexuality had taken control of the people of Sodom. And Jesus tells us that these things would be combined and all happening at once during the last days before his return. So does the day we live in fit with this description? Yes. Not only is this world today full of violence and sexual immorality, including homosexuality. These evils have now been turned into entertainment this world is now entertained by the very things that God destroyed the old world and Sodom for in Noah's and Lot's day. Let's take homosexuality as an example, or, going after strange flesh, like they did in Sodom. Since 2001, 14 countries have fully legalized homosexual marriage, including Argentina, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Iceland, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Spain, South Africa, Sweden, New Zealand, Uruguay, France, and with parts of North and South America doing the same. And the list is growing all the time. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 4 to 6, says, for if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. Do you see what the Lord is telling us here? He made an example of the wicked people in Noah's day, who were filled with evil, and showed violence to one another by destroying them with the flood. And he made an example of the sexually immoral people in Lot's day, who practiced homosexuality by destroying them with fire. It is a warning to us that we should not follow in their footsteps by practicing the same sins. Otherwise, we will be destroyed too when Jesus returns. Just think about this sobering fact for a minute. There are many commentators that say the population back in Noah's day was in the millions. And yet only eight people were saved. Noah and his family. That's it. Just think about that, only eight people truly trusted in God and followed his will. Being not that far from the creation account in Adam and Eve, there would have been many others who believed in God and in their own eyes served God. This is Jesus said in Matthew, chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to him Lord, Lord will be saved, but only those who do the will of God. Many people in Noah's day probably professed to be God's people but they continue to live in willful sin. I'm sure that Noah would have preached to the people watching as he built the ark, warning them of the judgment to come. And 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 7 confirms that Lot backs his soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds of Sodom. So Lot would also have been warning the people of Sodom of their wicked ways. But neither groups of people would listen to the present truth of their time and judgment came swiftly upon them unawares. And the same is happening around the world today. The people are dull of hearing the truth. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that we are living in the time Jesus talked about. A time like the days of Noah and Lot where violence, wickedness, sexual immorality, and homosexuality would control the minds of men and women alike. 
Take a look around you, turn on the TV, and you will see a world full of evil, corruption, violence, and sexual immorality. God's Spirit is still striving with man to convict him of sin and to turn to Christ Jesus and obey him and keep his commandments. But as the verse in Genesis 6 says, my spirit shall not always strive with man. God will give everyone a chance, which he is doing right now, to turn to him with all their hearts and to turn away from sin. But if they choose to continue to ignore the promptings of the Holy Spirit and the warnings from God's word, then his spirit will be withdrawn and the day of judgment will come upon them swiftly unawares. The majority of people on this earth are choosing the broad way that leads to destruction. They say you don't need to keep God's commandments. They say that we can worship God any way we like. They say it is okay to like the things of this world and be a friend of the world. They say that we need to include people from different faiths. They say that homosexuality is okay and God accepts them as they are. They say many things that are clearly contrary to the word of God. Why? Because they walk after the flesh rather than the spirit. The constant indulgence of sin that existed in Noah's day and Lot's day exists today, as Jesus predicted the last days would like the same as the days of Noah and Lot. But take a look in the Bible at something else that is true for today. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. This is also pointing to our day today. The world is full of people, including professed Christians, but continue in their worldly lives as if nothing is going to happen. Also, there are many scoffers today who reject the warnings of end time sings and proclaim that all things continue as normal from the beginning. And yet the signs are so clear that we are living right at the very end of time for this world. We are living in the last days, friends. Now is the time to turn from your sins and submit your life to Christ Jesus. Remember, only eight people were saved in the days of Noah, and Jesus confirmed that only few will be saved in the end. Will you heed the warning? Will you be ready for that great and dreadful day when our Lord returns? Will you be with the saints at the end when Jesus returns? Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.